Sail. So we were at Bjorven. Be, be yes. <laughs> what a great name. So can you tell us a little bit about your family history and your upbringing and I guess your, your cultural background because your name is very, it's very eccentric. Um, yeah, uh, so my name is Icelandic because my dad, is, he's Icelandic. And my mom, uh, she's, from, she's from Florida. So, you know, they came up with that name. I don't know, so, because it was the name, I don't know. But um, I guess, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I was born in San Diego, but I, I don't like saying that. <laughs> I, uh, I, um, I lived in Japan for like uh, a, a pretty big chunk of time. And because uh, my mom's in the Navy, so you move around a lot. And uh, yeah. Nice. What, what, what were some of the best moments in Japan for you? Uh, ooh, I was there. I was a long time ago. I don't remember much, but um, there's a spot uh, that you went up. So I had this elementary school, basically, and there was on this mountain. So you went up the mountain. There's this top little spot with like a nice little, basically kind of like a little park on top of it. It was nice. And I always went up there to kind of relax and stuff. That was the spot. What part of Japan were you guys in? Dude, oh, dude, uh, we were next to Yokosuka, which is a city nearby the, um, near the base, but we didn't oh, live really? on base, though. we didn't live on base, we left, uh, we lived uh, nearby, though. So what brought you to, so, you know, living on the base in Japan and hanging out and doing all that great stuff, what brought you to LA? You, you, you had this acting bug, or one day you woke up and was like, I want to act, or, because I know you're, you have a twin brother, right? Yes, I do. Yes. Um, yeah, we're fraternal, so we're not identical, but he is three minutes older, so he always says that. He says, I'm three minutes <laughs> older than you. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I, I've always kind of liked, like, performing. You know, I, I did the, I used to do, like, theater back then, like, like community theater, and um, I don't know, I kind of, like, made little films with my brother, little short films, and my mom decided to be like, how about you, like, maybe... I don't know, start auditioning or something. So I was like, okay, sure. And I, you know, I, I booked some small things and then I booked Chucky, which is like a, one of the bigger things I booked. And then I kind of been stuck. That's kind of where I am right now. So you, you said you booked some small things. So what yeah. types of small things did you book? TV was, commercials? Yeah, I, I, I did one commercial and then I did these, uh like these, I don't know how to say this and not be mean, but like these, like, you know, like it's low budget films, I guess, you know, like, like local films in the area that are like non-union kind of stuff. Like, uh, uh, I did like some horror, some, some horror movie. It was pretty cool. And I did a, a small part in another horror movie that <laughs> in a feature film. And then I did, um, some, something for like the book, some like book trailer thing. It was weird. I don't, Yeah. So you do a lot, you do a lot of, uh, did you do any films with AFI or any of the, like, the, I guess, what is it, USC film school, like any of those schools? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, actually. Sorry, I, don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, no. Uh, yeah. And what types of, what types of roles were you playing in those films? Uh, just kind of like, you know, just something came around. It was like, you know, we need a, you know, a, a young person to be a character so I kind of auditioned for it and then I booked it you know there it was kind of a I think for the feature horror film I did I was like a a friend of somebody who got like haunted or something so the people were like asking us about him that was like the scene that I was in it was pretty fun so you've been in this you've been in this horror space for a minute then <laughs> a little yeah most of the things I've, I've booked were like horror stuff yes but Chucky was I think the one I've I did the most like obviously, because I was one of like a, a main, a lead in the show, but I, and that one I did the most like horror stuff. I actually like interacted with the with the scary guys, so it was um, yeah. So what was it like when you actually found out that you got the role? Like, what were you doing when you got that call? Uh, I was probably on my computer like playing games, <laughs> um, and I, I I then I my dad told me that I booked it, and I was like, oh dang, okay. So then the first thing we did was watch all the Chucky movies to kind of get like an idea of um of like the you know the the vibe of it because I've, I've never really seen it i think i've seen the first one but that's it so then i watched all of them and i you know they're, they're pretty good they're 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 fun movies enjoyable so then i kind of got like a, a general idea of going into the show and um 
I mean, the show is, I feel like it's, it's very different from the movies, but also kind of a little bit similar too. And it was kind of fun being able to like do that. What are some of the similarities? I felt like the cadence of acting felt very close. In the movies, it feels like Chucky has this little sarcastic humor where he's always like, ha, ah, what a play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I I think, you know, Chucky is still, you know, Chucky, which is great. You know, Chucky's still that, you know, he's he's evil and sinister, but he also is kind of fun and, and endearing in a way. I guess it was kind of weird. And um, yeah, I, I think the, the big difference with it is kind of just like, I guess the pacing, you know, and like the the look of it. The look of it is pretty unique to like the movies because it feels more like a show and you know and then the, the show takes time to like develop over time which is you know the movies can't really do that or then it'd be like an eight-hour movie you know so in the first season i didn't get to catch all of it but i did i, I thought it was i thought the pieces that i saw of it were just hilarious <laughs> when you're on set with that with with the, with the actual doll and the, and the different characters what was, what felt different in the season one versus season two? Um, I guess the big thing that felt different was, I guess, like my, like being comfortable with the shooting. Cause you know, when I first did season one, I was pretty nervous. I, I it was my first like big thing ever. So I didn't want to be like, I was like, oh my, I, I don't know what to do. I, I was happening with all this stuff. But, you know, I think going to season two, it kind of feels more like, like second nature, you know, I can kind of get into it more and then I can focus more on kind of like, uh, you know, being better at the character and you know developing a bit more and yeah and working with the doll it's 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 pretty interesting because it's like you you get to see all the things that go behind it so it's you know it's it's not super hard to like work with it because it feels like a person it blinks it looks around it, like it even it has, the mouth moves and you know it actually speaks someone is talking to you and the puppet ears are all awesome to work with so it's it's really awesome so now we're in season two and there's a lot going on. And I know you probably can't tell us everything, you know, spoiling it, but I know that you're you're, you're doing a podcast, right? Kind of, a little bit. Kind of. Kind of, <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Um, how, like, um, how different is the, your, your character or how has your character grown from, grown from season one to now? Um. Yeah, I think it's, it's you know, Devin starts off as kind of being like, you know, he's the cool kind of charismatic kid in the school, has, has a podcast, kind of popular with everybody. And then he kind of gets into this like whole Chucky shenanigans and kind of, you know, obviously has trauma now because his, his mother dies right in front of him. So now he's kind of like, you know, he's an orphan now and he has to like, you know, kind of deal with like trying to hold the relationship that he has right now with, you know, with Lexi and, and, Z and, and Jake. And it's uh, the new setting of the um, Catholic school is going to be uh, interesting for you guys to see kind of that dynamic and our relationships kind of form from being in that new setting that kind of uh, messes with us a little bit. So how do you feel about this coming out on October 5th? Have any of your friends thrown like, are you guys doing like a Chucky party? Are you doing anything fun? Because I noticed, I noticed you were cooking too, by the way. I saw you cooking some steaks the other day on your Instagram. Yes. <laughs> yes, I've been, I've been working on my uh, my cooking skills. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna go to um, Comic Con, which is around like the time, and have a panel. And I think we're probably gonna do the premiere like there in New York, which is gonna be fun. And I mean, my friends always talk about like you know, or like yo, oh, you're on the show, and I'm like, yep, that's me. <laughs> and you know, I mean, I, and I like my friends because they're like you know they're pretty chill. You know, they don't really like like you know like they haven't changed my opinion of me from me on the show, so it's nice to kind of just go back home and, you know, relax. <laughs> so, wow, that's awesome. So you got this part, you're playing this character, the character is growing, you get season two coming up, you've got that under your belt, at least a couple of episodes rather. How does it feel now to know that you're a working actor now? Like you're, you're like, and you're becoming like a well-known household face. Like, what does that feel like right now? It's it's interesting because I I whenever I never saw, see myself to get here so it's kind of interesting you know I get to like kind of know everything that goes behind it you know now I have to you know kind of like talk you know do interviews which is interesting you know it's the thing you know I and it's I don't know it's it's interesting it's an interesting kind of it's, it's surreal to me like I always kind of see interviews on TV or something like that and I'm like huh now that's like me I'm doing that 
Well, yeah, you deserve it. You're such a great actor. I was watching you and I was like, whoa, you like really dropped in and you have a great sense of style and you're, um, you match the show perfectly. I, 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 was, I was wondering, how was it like, what was it like when you auditioned the first time around, just to rewind a little bit, because um, like I said before, you fit right in, like you really, like a puzzle, you know, like, you know, puzzles have different shapes and stuff, but it's like, you just fit right on in. It's like, it's, it's almost like this role was written for you, right? Yeah, it was, it was interesting because when I did the audition, it, the, the scene was, because it was really interesting. So when I, so I saw Chucky. I said, like, okay, Chucky, that's interesting. I, that'd be fun to audition for. And I see the scene and it's the scene in the cafeteria where Devin's talking to Jake. And I'm like, this is Chucky? I'm like, okay, so what do I do? So then I kind of like, you know, I played it as like, you know, like a kid in school talking to someone trying to get like, trying to help him out. And then I guess that's what Don wanted. You know, it was kind of interesting because the audition had, had nothing to do with Chucky at all. So it was kind of fun to like, be like, okay, I have to like, kind of like do that and in, in the character is like I do feel like I kind of relate to him on some levels the character you know he's a creative guy he you know is charismatic he like is I guess it, it's yeah he's he's kind of like me a little bit but also different you know I mean I'm I'm a bit more uh maybe a bit more relaxed maybe a bit more <laughs> relaxed than him uh, but uh yeah yeah your character is pretty intense at times I can I know he's gonna go there at any moment <laughs> yes, yes yes i was like how do you how do you um contain that how do you like control that those emotions because i know there's a little there's probably a little there's a bjorvin that's kind of like you know yeah he's not, always, he's not always chill i'm sure there's one yeah. that gets a little heated and hot and, and hot sometimes yeah i think i you know i try to you know think about it as that you know Devin. you know i i, tr I try to i guess like become him or whatever you know it sounds like generic but i guess i try to to you know like put myself away and then kind of like bring in Devin and kind of be him and maybe maybe add some of me in there but I want to kind of be someone new and you know interesting because I'm pretty boring so I want to be someone who's interested <laughs> how do you prepare for your um for your scenes do you like is there a special ritual you do or <laughs> <laughs> no yeah I like candles around in a circle and I start levitating <laughs> uh, um uh uh yeah I um well, usually uh, we get the scripts of like the whole episode before we even start mm -hmm. shooting, like maybe the first three or something. And I look at all of them and I kind of get an idea of what's happening. And then I kind of uh, sometimes I like I mean, I, I've been to acting classes and stuff. So I kind of have some things in my brain to, you know, to put onto when I look at a script and how to like read it and, you know, take notes and stuff. So I kind of do that. And then I, you know, because I never really know what, what scene we're shooting until the day it's going to shoot. So I kind of have to be prepared to like be super dramatic or be super like not dramatic for the you know it's kind of interesting because sometimes we uh, like uh, shooting out of order is kind of interesting to me that's something that I realized it's like we, we're shooting episode three but we're shooting the end of episode three and not the beginning we shoot the beginning later so it's kind of fun to like have to like kind of put myself in the later point and then put myself before but like not nah, it's interesting yeah what are some of the um oh what are some of your favorite characters or some of the actors you like you love working with on set I mean, yeah, I love working with, I, I love working with, I mean, Ali and Zach, they're great. And, um, and Teo, you know, they're, they're, they're great working with them, the series. Too bad he's, uh, Junior's dead, rest in peace. Um, and it's also great working with the, you know, like the classics, like Jennifer Tilly and, you know, Alex Vincent. It, it was great working with them in, in season one. And it was kind of fun to see, like, especially Jennifer Tilly's character. She's, she's, uh, she's kind of, she's out there you know she's like <laughs> it was fun it was kind of fun because it, it's almost like I'm working with Jennifer Tilly then when we cut it's still Jennifer Tilly because you know I mean it's fun yeah wow that's so cool it's, it's such a great I think it's so cool that you get to be a part of like you're a part of like pop culture like like people love Chucky like I, I think I think everyone has been Chucky for Halloween <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> I mean, everybody's been like, you know, I don't know what to wear. So you're throwing some overalls and a real wig. Exactly. And like, Chuck yeah. So have you ever been checking for Halloween? Or do you have any plans of doing anything cool for Halloween? Because, I mean, if I saw you on Halloween, I think I would be pretty spooked out. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess I could always In a go way. as... In a way. I guess I could always go as Devin. That'd be really funny. <laughs> Just walk around in, like, a, <laughs> so a fall shirt. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess, like... I don't know if this is this was your question, but I guess like it's always like seeing like the community kind of and seeing like you know fan art and seeing like edits and stuff. It's kind of interesting because I get to be like, whoa, like someone like 
took time out of their day to draw me out of all people and or make a video like that has me in it and i was always like huh i was i, I don't know it's it's interesting to me yeah, it's very surreal i'm sure because it's like jesus it's like you got you you're, you're trick-or-treating or you're hanging with friends and you're like is that a picture of me on your shirt yeah i mean like people go, i mean like could you have that kind of cool face and that cool look and speaking of which you have this cool shirt on this style this swag can you tell me about this little this sweatshirt you have on? Because, you know, you get your little fade, too, by the way. I'm, I'm digging your thank head. You, thank you, yeah. <laughs> um, I got this shirt on a on a, a concert, someone's tour. It was um Amine. He's an artist. I, I saw him once. I was like, oh, and I got a shirt because I thought it was cool. And I have a bunch of shirts, too. And I'm also working on my own little, like, clothing brand myself, too. It's in the Ooh. works. It's in the works. So yeah. what, what, what inspires some of your pieces? Uh, I guess like kind of like just streetwear brands, but not like the like the hype beast stuff, like more like kind of cool. Like I guess like I like ripping it, but kind of the like skater ish brands, even though I'm not a skater. So I guess you'd call me like a poser or whatever, but it's um <laughs> I kind of like the style of that and it kind of like feels like it's I don't know, it's more like raw rather than like some high high fashion, you know. I can get a t-shirt with a cool like design on it. It's kind of just like cool and like you know, casual even. And, and where do you think you get your sense of style from? Your mom or your dad? Yeah, I get it from from both of them. I and mean, my mom, especially, she, you know, she wears a lot of uh, interesting clothes and stuff. And she mm-hmm. kind of, you know, like, I mean, I think I kind of got both of their styles and kind of made my own kind of out of them. Because, I mean, obviously, my mom is not walking around with a bunch of skater shirts that say like Vans on it or anything like that. But I think it's, you know, I, I kind of took their, you know, style and kind of like, you know, created my own out of it. Wow. Um, you can you share some name in the, the clothing line or your, your design? Uh, well, it's nothing. There's nothing really like out, but I have something called. It's called Loser Club. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yep, and um, I think I think I have an Instagram, and we have a little little small shop. I think it's Loser Club underscore Apparel. I think it is on Instagram, and we have a little shop, so we're like trying to sell stuff. But I'm probably gonna like and then do like a proper drop soon. But right now we're kind of just like in the beginning. Wow, that's dope. So what's next for you? What's up in your pipeline? I mean, this is like, I'm super excited for you, low key, because I'm just like, I love Trekkie. I've always loved him, like in a weird way, though. But <laughs> 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 yeah. you, know, you, gotta, you, uh, gotta, you gotta love Trekkie from afar. But it's like, where do you go from here? It's like, you have so many amazing things going on. And like, people yeah. love your character. I don't know, I guess, I mean, Cross is, you know, the season three, you know, obviously, that's the big oh, thing. Oh, yeah, you already know that's coming. I know that's the big thing, obviously. And um, I guess, you know, I, I'm still doing auditions and still seeing if I can get anything in between maybe. And, uh, you know, obviously working on the brand and, you know, kind of still doing publicity for season two. Cause I mean, once, once we're done shooting, we're still not done. You know, right. I still do ADR and, you know, publicity. Obviously I'm going to Comic-Con recently on New York, which is gonna be fun. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of taking what's coming. I'm, I'm riding that wave. So. What's your favorite? What's your favorite uh, style of acting? TV or film? I think film acting. I think film because I think it's. Uh, I mean, I. I. It is pretty like similar, I guess, in a sense. But I guess film can lend to like it's. You have to like tell this whole big story in like a certain amount of time, you know, and you know, or it can or it can be too long and drag, and it's kind of interesting. I mean, and I guess TV can do that too, but TV has a bit more time on their hands to be able to play something out. So I think mean, film is. Always unique to me and always like that. Nice. And then have you been doing anything in the community or how are you involved or lend your name and support to any organizations or philanthropic? Uh, I've been, uh, well, I mean, I guess not really any charities, but I am in this, uh, like working with this um, local, like art, like non uh, nonprofit art kind of school thing called SACI. It's local around here and it's, um, you know, like I'm in it and I, you know, I do projects. It's kind of like our things. We do exhibits and do things like that. And it's, it's fun. It's like a kind of art school, basically. But, you know, I kind of go there and kind of just like do art. It's nice. What are, what are some of your favorite mediums that you that you like to use? Clearly, I like uh, acry- acrylics. Yeah, those are cool. <laughs> those are cool. I like those. Yeah, those are cool in the back. Um, I guess I, know, I like photography and like kind of like digital art, kind of like, you know, doing like putting stuff together into one big like piece and Obviously, I, I I love film, especially filmmaking is great, like making films and uh, I guess, yeah, I guess like that. And also, I guess like doing like a, like mixed media, I guess, really in general. Things I like. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorites, too. I love mixed media. I love, I love, love, love it. Um, what are some of your favorite 
I guess, mixed media pieces that you've ever done. Ever done? Ooh. And what's behind uh, you, by the way? What's behind like, you? I see anime. This is my animation. Oh, yeah. It's, these are some some manga I have right here. Uh, it's a good. It's called Fire Punch. I'm, it's pretty good. It's pretty, it's pretty weird. And I have some records in the back. I have a Ginger Root. I have Square Pusher, and I have a Cordis Head on right here. But I have a bunch of other records. I like I like listening to records stuff too. I'm a, I'm a big music guy. I love music. Yeah. Wow, me too. What are some of your favorite songs, or of, 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 I guess of late? Of late, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of favorite songs, but uh, I guess like I could go to like answer you of songs that help me like like music i guess it's like i guess uh, my mom showed me music my dad shows me music so my dad showed me music like like Aphex twin and like square pusher kind of like electronic stuff and i kind of like that and my mom showed me like things like a uh, death cap or cutie or like uh or um like i guess rap in general like kendrick lamar and stuff like that so i like i'm a big fan of a uh, typical butterfly that's my favorite album probably by him but my brother got his new album on vinyl i have it over over there on the in the back yeah nice it's all about the vinyl so what are some of your um when you when you're done rapping on set what are some of the things you do to like chill out and relax besides cooking steaks yes besides cooking steaks <laughs> obviously um i guess i mean i have to obviously i have to realize have to realize where i have to do school now i have to do homework and obviously you know that's not super fun but i guess it's you know i have to do that and i uh, also you know i kind of just like wind down i uh hang out with friends i play games you know online so like that you know friends of mine kind of just wind down and chillax so what's your favorite, I guess, what would be your um, your biggest dream that you would want to accomplish in the next year? Next year? Oh, that's, well, I don't know. I mean, because anything can happen with you, because look at you, I mean, you're doing Chucky, bro. Like, you don't know what's going to happen in the moment. True, I mean, I was going to say make a movie, but I don't think, I don't think, I don't think a year would, I think that'd be too, uh, too close. That'd be too close to that time. I think maybe... I mean, I guess, like, honestly, like, try to work up that brand and, like, come up with, like, an actual drop, like, an actual, like, release of clothes. I'm still working on trying to find people to, like, you know, help me make the, the clothes and stuff. Yeah, I can see that, especially the way you described it. How do you feel about Reebok? I like with Reebok. They have some really cool, um, oh, they have Allen Iverson's that came out. I don't know if you, but, you know, you like skater shoes. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, like, I think I like all types of fashion, but I kind of want to focus more on, like, the casual kind of streetwear skater right because it's like you know it's uh <laughs> it's easier to do no <laughs> i'm not trying to make like some like leopard jacket that has like wings right. on or something you know it's like a little bit a little too much and who's gonna wear that you know you never know you never know <laughs> true true so, so that's awesome is there anything else you want to discuss with us or tell us about that you're working on that we didn't touch on i guess i really already already told you that much stuff uh the brand and you know i guess you know my uh, my acting my acting work nice well i'm really i'm really impressed with you and i'm really proud of you and i think a lot of us are really proud of you and i i think you're a trailblazer and you're doing some amazing things for young people particularly because you're you know you're really you know you're, you're accepting of yourself i think that's huge you know in a time when I was growing up, a lot of us couldn't accept the fact that we had, you know, mixed race families. And so we're in this new space. And it's like, it's so great to see that you're, you know, you're so, you're on it, you're on it. And I, I think the sky's the limit for you. And, and I love the way you just, you, you had this real cool calmness about you. So when you're ready for that drop, you just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, let me know. But I'm, but um, again, I, I can't wait to see you on October 5th. I can't wait to see who you kill. <laughs> yes yes but um yeah it was a pleasure speaking with you and um you know light and love thank you all